On this 50-point inspection from Last Chair Brewery out of Plymouth, New Hampshire, I have their Powder Beer Hazy IPA. Uh, let's see, what can we find out about this? Well, I mean, the artwork is done by Michael Sean Piper. Um, okay. At Last Chair Brewery, we embrace the moment, finding joy and cherishing those on the ride with us. To us, it's not about being first. We prefer to enjoy the ride and always catch the last chair. Cheers. Um, the profile on this, as our flagship IPA, this hazy brew, has an exotic bouquet of tropical and citrus hoppy notes, ranging from pineapple and mango to tangerine and grapefruit. Damn me, I should not read stuff prior to drinking a beer. Um, the hops in it, though, are Eldorado, Mosaic, Azaka, Cashmere, Citra. Uh, the ABV on this one is 6.8%, and it's 35 IBUs. I'm glad that they do give a lot of information, though, with like what they use for hops and even the IBUs. You don't see that uh, that often anymore for the IBUs, anyways, or what they used for hops uh anyways let's uh go ahead and crack into this beer and i'll let you know what i think of it all right so it pours with a pretty tight uh frothy white head the color of the beer itself is a milky yellow um opaque can't see through it uh some aromas let's see if we can get anything from afar yeah, there's like a mango type thing, maybe a little bit papaya-esque from afar. It almost, it almost smells a little bit like spoiled milk for some reason. I don't know, let me get in closer here. Okay, I think that's cashmere coming through. There's, there's a kind of spicy type of nose. It almost smells like botanicals. Like uh, from a gin. Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, with a guava. Did they say that on there? I'll check that can afterwards again. Yeah, it's kind of like a, I'd say a spicy botanical guava. There is like a slight kind of like almost sour milk smell coming out of this too. So uh, that's kind of weird. Um, uh, yeah, that's that's what I'm getting in the aromas, so let's move on. Uh, for a swig, cheers. Yeah, this one's very, like, grassy. Earthy tone, grassy. Um, it has that kind of guava bite a little bit, but uh, it's got, like, this kind of spicy botanical thing um going on Ugh. i can tell you i'm definitely not getting what they were saying as far as the flavor notes uh nowhere nowhere close bitterness on this it says it's 35 ibus it's quite bitter actually there's not a lot of like malt presence to really, there's no sweetness in it at all. Um, it's kind of got this kind of wheat, like wheat type note to it. And uh, a little crackery, but uh, not really anything that's gonna fight against the, uh, the bitterness that's coming through. It's very grassy. Um, I would say maybe even a little touch of pine or something in there, or actually, It's got it's got the kumquat bitterness. Uh, it's it does have this kind of citrusy rind, um, but extremely bitter, um, unpleasant bitterness. So with all that said, let me talk about the mouthfeel. 
medium body. It's got somewhat of a smooth palette to it. Carbonation's kind of on the lower, lower medium side. Um, yeah, I think I'm ready to score it. Okay, I am back with my score, but first, let's look at Untapped. Um, yeah, so like I said, what the, what they were saying for the the flavors definitely pretty much do not match what my palette is picking up. I mean, it's like way, way different. Um, it says it's an exotic bouquet. I mean, the bouquet thing, I guess, because I was saying it's like botanicals, um, which are like flowers and other spicy shit that goes into gin. Um, of tropical and uh, citrus hoppy notes. So the only like real citrus thing I was getting was a super bitter like kumquat. Not pleasant at all. Um, pineapple, hell no. I do not get that. Mango, I said mango or papaya on the nose. Definitely not there in the flavor. And then I was kind of getting this kind of like guava type thing also. Um, then it says to tangerine and grapefruit. I mean, maybe the grapefruit rind, um, but yeah, this beer is like so unbalanced with bitterness. Anyways, out of 476 ratings, this beer averages out a 3.73 out of 5, which on my scale would put it as a good beer. Um, what I ended up rating this as is... A 6 out of 6 for the appearance. I gave it a 5 out of 10 for the aromatics. I was at a 9.5 out of 19 for the flavor. 5 out of 5 for the body. And for my overall, it's at a 5 out of 10. This is definitely not one that I would recommend. Not one I would pick up again. I wonder if I've had this one before. I've only had like one beer from last year. Uh, I may have already reviewed this. I'll have to go back and check. But anyways, it's going to score right now with a bumpy 30.5 out of 50, which puts it in between a poor beer and a drinkable beer. Um, and uh, I'll go ahead and round this one up. I'll say it's drinkable because I'm going to finish it. I'm not going to drain port, but definitely not one that I would go and shout at the... Uh, the world from the mountaintop on the last chair so anyways cheers and thank you all for watching